Hello friends, this video on decimals part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 4. Tina had 20 meters 5 centimeters long cloth. She cuts 4 meters 50 centimeters length of cloth for, from this for making a curtain. How much cloth is left with her? So total how much she had? So the total amount of cloth that she had was 20 meters 5 centimeters. Again we have two partly in two units meter and centimeter. So let's convert it into meter. Now we know that 1 centimeter is equal to 1 by 100 meters. So therefore this would be 20 plus 5 by 100 meters. So that is 20 plus 0 0.05. This is equal to 20.05 meters. So this, this is the total amount of cloth that she had. Now how much did, how much did she cut? So she cut 4 meters 50 centimeters. That is equal to 4 plus 50 divided by 100. That is equal to 4 plus 0 0.50. That is equal to 4.5 meters. So that means she total had 20.05 meters and she had cut 4.5 meters out of it. So how much is left out with her total minus the cut? So total is 20.05. How much is cut? 4.5. So you can put 0 here, you can put 0 here and then subtract. So start from the rightmost column, 5 minus 0 is 0. Here again at the top you have 0, so you borrow 1 from here, so it becomes 10. So 10 minus 5 is 5, now you give back 1, so 4 plus 1 becomes 5. Again here it is 0, so you borrow 1, so on the top it is 10, below it is 5. So it becomes 5, again you give back 1, so 2 minus 1 is 1. So 15.50. So 15.50. So 5 minus 0 was 5. So 15.55 meters of cloth was left with her. Question number 5. Rani had rupees 18.50. She bought one ice cream for rupees 11.75. How much money does she have now? So this was the total money that she had. This much she already spent. So how much is left? This minus this. Total minus the cost of ice cream. So total she had 18.50. Cost of ice cream was 11.75. So just subtract the 2. So here it is 0. So you borrow 1 from here. It becomes 10. 10 minus 5 is 5. Again you give back 1. So 7 plus 1 becomes 8. Now here again 5 is smaller than 8. So you again borrow 1. So it becomes 15 minus 8. 15 minus 8 is 7. Now again you give back 1. So 1 plus 1 becomes 2. 8 minus 2 is 6. And 1 minus 1 is 0. So 6.75. So she is left with rupees 6.75. Question number 6. Akash bought vegetables weighing 10 kg. Out of this 3 kg 500 gram is onions. 2 kg 75 grams is tomatoes. And the rest is potatoes. What is the weight of potatoes? Okay. So that means he bought onions tomatoes and potatoes and the total weight of the three of these was 10 kgs and how much onions did he buy 3 kg 500 grams so let's convert this into kg now we know that 1 gram is equal to 1 by 1000 kg so with that in mind this becomes 3 plus 500 divided by 1000 so this is 3 plus 0.5 which is equal to 3.5 kg. So this was about onions. What about tomatoes? So 2 kg 75 grams. So that would be 2 plus 75 by 100 by 1000. So this would be 2 plus 0 0.075 which is equal to 2.075 kg. Now in total, how much did he buy? What would be the weight of onions and tomatoes put together? So that would be 3.5 plus 2.075. So 2.075. So you see we are placing the two numbers under each other in such a way that the decimals they lie exactly below each other. So this can, here you can put zeros. Start adding from the rightmost column. This becomes 5, 7, 5, 
0.5 so this would be the weight of the onions and tomatoes together so what would be the weight of potatoes the total weight of the vegetables which is 10 minus the total weight of onions and tomatoes so therefore the weight of potatoes would be 10 minus 5.575 so 10 means 10.0 so this would be 5.575 so here also you can put 0 so start from the rightmost column so here you have 0 so you borrow 1 10 minus 5 is 5 give back 1 so 7 plus 1 becomes 8 again you borrow 1 so 10 minus 8 is 2 again you give back 1 so it becomes 6 again you borrow 1 from here so 10 minus 6 it will be 4 Again, you give back 1, it becomes 6. Again, you borrow 1, it is 10. So, 10 minus 6 would be 4. You give back 1, so 1 minus 1 is 0. So, 4.425 kgs would be the weight of the potatoes. Let's move on to question number 7. Namita travels 20 kilometers, 50 meters every day. Out of this, she travels 10 kilometers, 200 meters by bus and the rest by auto. How much distance does she travel by auto? So basically, she is traveling the total distance, some portion by bus and the remaining portion by auto. So the total distance that she travels by bus and auto is 20 kilometers, 50 meters. Now let's convert that into kilometers. We know that 1 meter is equal to 1 by 1000 kilometers. So with that in mind, this would be 20 plus 50 divided by 1000. So that would be 20 plus 0 0.050. That is 20.050. So that last zero, whether we write or we do not write, that's the same thing. So 20.05 kilometer is the total distance that Namita travels. Now how much distance does she travel by bus? So she travels 10 kilometers 200 meters by bus. So let's convert this also into kilometers. So this becomes 20, 10 plus 200 divided by 1000 that is equal to 10 plus 0.2 which is equal to 10.2 kilometers. So how much distance does she travel by auto? Total distance that is 20.05 minus the distance traveled by bus. So this would be 20.05 and this would be 10.2. So subtract them. So you can put a 0 here. 5 minus 0 would be 5. Here you have 0 on the, new, uh, on the top. So you borrow 1 from here. It becomes 10 minus 2. That is 8. You give back 1. So it becomes 1. And here again you borrow 1. So 10 minus 1. That is 9. Now you give back 1. So it becomes 2. So 2 minus 2 is 0. So this is 9.85 kilometers. So Namita travels 9.85 kilometers by auto. So with this, we have reached towards the end of this lesson on decimals. And I hope that this lesson on decimals would have helped you. So try to practice more problems so that you gain confidence on problem solving. And see you all in the next lesson. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.